This time the quick speed shop, you've seen this in the background in a lot of my videos and I've actually worked on it a few times, but today I'm going to tell you about my S10 shop truck. So why this rusty, ratty piece of junk S10? I'll tell you why, because it's awesome and I love it. So the story is, I bought this truck from my work, that's why it's numbered up here and it says facilities management on the doors. And I bought it with 66,000 miles on it. It was rusted out, it needed rocker panels, floorboards, cab corners, brake lines, fuel lines, gas tank, uh, a front seat, front brakes, two tires, I think that's it. That was back in 2000 and I think 11, 2011, something like that. So I paid $300 for this truck, 66,000 miles, and I completely redid it. Welded in all new floors, rockers, replaced all his lines, painted the chassis, and now it has 136,000 miles on it. And I've got about $1,500 in this truck altogether. It's my winter truck. It hauls junk in the cap. It, uh, is okay gas mileage. It gets, I don't know, in the summer 21 miles a gallon, in the winter about 18. It's a 2.2 liter four cylinder with the four speed automatic. So let's take a closer look. Let me get out. Oh, that's the first thing you can see. The hinge is shot on the door, so I got to lift the door up like that to get in and, and out. But let's check it out. So here's the interior. I swapped in a set of bucket seats out of an extended cab S10. I've got four S10s worth of parts in this thing. And uh, you can see here that my rockers and floors I put in are starting to rot again. I'm actually got rot up above where I tied the rocker in, up to the door post. Um, the floor pan is solid here, but it's got rust along the rockers. It's bled out of the doors. Um, the problem was the cab mounts are shot. The cab is actually leaning on this side and rattling around. So it's uh, pretty, pretty rough on this deal. But it's got the uh, regular, it's got the Delco radio. These radios and these things kick it. I can cruise. I've got no air, just heat and vent. And uh, stain a gray interior in an S10 they put in for years. But it's pretty comfortable. I like cruising around in it. Let's check it out under the hood. Right here is the hood release. Oh, it worked this time. Great. All right, here's a 2.2 liter. It's uh, been a real reliable engine. The only thing I've had to do with it is I had to, the electric uh, EGR valves go bad once in a while. I keep a jack junkyard stash of those. I slap another one on it. And I put a serpentine belt on it and a water pump at one point. Other than that, it's uh, bone stock. You can see I had to replace this red fender. I did a video on that. The battery and the computer were falling out, so I had to replace the radiator. But I fluid filmed all the, the goings on under here. It's uh, been a good deal. I hit a deer with it one time. It's got a replacement grill and headlight from another truck. But under the hood, it's simple. It's good to go. Now, these engines tend to, tend to lug. They put a real serious uh, wide range third to fourth gear deal in the tranny, so it really lugs it in overdrive and it kind of wore the main bearings i think and it had lower oil pressure cruising like below it's about i don't know 30 pounds or so so instead of running 530 in it which i'm supposed to i'm running 1040 and it bumped the oil pressure up a little bit but it's good i like it and i run around in third gear below 50 miles an hour to keep the rpms up because this thing's a bog monster if you lug it too much and it's uneconomical and no power when it's bogging so i keep her in third up to about 50 miles an hour then i drop it in the fourth for overdrive so there it is, the 2.2 liter power plant. All right, my wheel choice is bitching here. I've got some old rusty Chevy rally wheels, probably off a of Camaro or Impala, something like that. Um, these are 15 by sevens on the front. I got some uh, dollar swap meet center caps. And on the rear, I'm running the same wheels, but I'm running uh, an earlier set from like a 58, 59 Chevy I just happen to have, but they're also rusty. But I think these trucks look great with these Chevy rally wheels on it. It really dresses them up. And uh, I run winter tires on these. They're rusty, I run them all year. I don't care, because I got no money in them. I got about $25 per wheel out the door. So good enough, and they look great all year long. Got my contractor cap up here. I got some uh, crash bars inside, so I don't bust the windows. I'm hauling junk. And uh, as you can see from the gap here, this box is sagging in the front. 
the cross members are shot. Also, it's got a severe case of flop action here. It goes down the road doing that. But you saw in another video, I went and I fixed the tailgate. But go ahead and watch this. This uh, bed is rotted on the inside, only the rear of the floor is attached. Check this out. It's bad. It's real bad. But it stays on there. It uh, goes off about three inches in the air when I go over train tracks. Goes kaboom in the back. It also rattles around in there on the other side. Here's the rear. The tailgate is shot. You saw I had another video up here where I welded these rebar on here. So the gate here, the glass, the pin that returns us, the uh, clip just happened to rot off that the other day. So now I got no way to pick the glass up. But because the box is so loosey goosey, it, uh, it's uh, like this. Because of that action, these latches don't work, so I've had to go and improvise. I added these gate latches. One on this side, and one on this side. Whoop. But even though the thing is rotted out, it still works. I still got some gate action, so it's still functional. And I could pull out of junk in here. I'm always picking stuff up on the side of the road. I throw winter weight in here for the winter time. And if I got it outfitted with a cage, I could use this as a paddy wagon or a scrap hauler. But the uh, the box is on its last legs. Oh, uh -oh. There we go. Got it. Alright, this side, as you can see, I've got the red fender on. I did a video on that. And I got the rally wheels front and rear. I've got a big box sag on this side. And uh, this is the worst side for action. It's bad on this side. I go around corners, this comes up in the air about four inches, but it's still functional. It's hanging in there. This truck works good. It stops, it steers, it doesn't have any check engine light on, the brakes work. So it's good to go. Well, that's about it. Um, I've been super busy at work during my regular job and the weather's been horrendous, so I haven't made a lot of Model A truck progress. I'm just about ready to paint the chassis, but I thought I'd give you guys a little video and I didn't know what to do, but bam, here we are. We got a little video on the S10 Winter Rat shop truck. So as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Um, hot rod builds, welding stuff, building stuff, old junk truck reviews, whatever it is, I'm doing it right here at the Quick Speed Shop.